Good morning stackers, it's Numa Stacker here and I guess you all know what this box is as you've seen quite a few now before. Yes, it is a delivery from NGC and so I'm going to have a look at exactly what they've done with the coins that I sent them for grading. So let's see if we can get into this box. So let's have a look at what we have in here and we can see that we think of what NGC have done for their grading. So let's take things one by one. Okay, so the first one we have is, it's really kind of, it was a bullion uh, sovereign that I had kind of left over and wanted to make up the numbers and so I sent it in to them. Probably this kind of coin doesn't really deserve to get slabbed but at least it kind of preserves it in the slab for posterity so that's an Australian sovereign which got a particularly low grade and this is the other one so this one got a slightly higher grade I think these two are some of the lowest grades of this kind of coin that they've slabbed so far so probably a little bit of a waste of money having them slabbed but it's quite nice that at least they're now in the same kind of format as the rest of my collection. So maybe something more interesting, we shall see. Okay, so this one is a 2013 proof sovereign. Let's get a bit, bit more of a close up. Beautiful coin, and it arrived in a capsule without a box or a COA. So when that kind of thing happens, um, I got it at a reasonable price because it didn't have the box and COA. And quite often with those kind of coins, it's better to send them out and have them slabbed. <clears throat> it's a fairly recent sovereign, so most people have still got them in the boxes. But actually, um, NGC have only graded two of these. So this is the second one in the world to be graded at the moment. So next we have a really interesting coin. This one is the uh, 1880 over seven. Um, you may have seen a video of this before, but they've given us this an AU55, which I was actually really happy with. Um, it's a coin that uh, is interesting because of the overprint. So I don't know whether I can kind of zoom in a little bit, but you can probably just about see under the, th under the second eight, there's a seven. Um, and it's quite nice that uh, NGC agreed with me on the uh, the over print and uh, gave me that nice little slab with the uh, with the variation on as well. I like that. It's good. <clears throat> okay. Next up, we have a panda. Um, I got an MS sixty eight, which actually is as. EQ Gold probably tell you this is not bad for pandas because they all come in these plastic pouches and they're not um, minted beautifully quite often so 70s and, and 69s are still kind of you know, fairly unusual um, so this is quite an older one where they minted them slightly less well as well um, bought this over in the States a few months ago in a, a in a kind of a plastic pouch and I thought I'd have it slabbed so it matches um, all the other quarters I've got from other different dates Okay, this one is a, um, a coin that I already had uh, in a slab and uh, the back was peeling off. They, 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 they cover this in an almost invisible film at the back and the film had partially peeled off so I sent it back to them and they actually in the end didn't charge me to, uh, to redo this. They did it under warranty. I have actually asked them what is your warranty on the actual physical slabbing process? I know they don't warrant the grade or value or anything like that, but they should really warrant the production of the slab, um, manufacturing faults in the slab, um, and whether the coin is you know, moving about inside, that kind of thing. And they should really re-slab free of charge. So that's a, a, another video is worth really.
Okay, so this one, this one I was really happy with. Um, this is a coin I bought from Germany and I uh, really like the look of. Um, it actually got an MS63 Plus. There are around about five and a half thousand of these coins that have been slabbed so far. So five and a half thousand ten dollar coins in this particular year by NGC alone. I haven't looked up PCGS. But only 17 have the plus sign at the end of the slab, which um, kind of designates a, slight, a better than average MS63. So at some stage I might have this sent to CAC as well and have a little green sticker put on, um, which they should probably give it as, uh, as it got a plus. Oops, right, what's next? Okay, so this is also interesting and got a good grade, very happy with this. This is an 1856 $1 gold coin and the interesting thing about this is it's an upright five version. The, the date, you can see on the date on the back that this one has the five of 1856 upright. There is another version which has the date on a slant. There are literally 25% of them seem to be upright and 75% of them to, uh, to be slanted. So the slanted uh, one is worth uh, less money than the upright. So I was very pleased that, uh, that this one got a reasonably good grade of AU55. Right. Okay, and this one, not so, not so good. Uh, this was the only one actually that was improperly cleaned. It looked good to me, it still looks good to me, but they decided that um, in their infinite wisdom that this was a cleaned coin. Um, all I can say is it's a shame. I guess it is maybe a tiny bit shiny. It's sometimes very difficult to see whether it's cleaned or not. So this was the only one that arrived in one of the dreaded detail slabs. Next one is 1854. Um, 1854 is a lot rarer than 1853, which uh, has lots and lots of coins available. So very pleased to pick this one up. It's called a Type 1, because in that year there were Type 1 and Type 2 coins produced. And NGC were good enough to give it an AU58, which is a really good rating. So very pleased with that one. And the last one, So this is AU55 and it's a $5 gold coin, uh, 1906 D. I think the, uh, the grading was spot on. It might have got an AU58, but AU55, AU58, there's not a huge amount between them in value or grading terms. So pleased with that one. And uh, well, that's the end of this little opening of all the NGC coins that have come back. So let me know what you think. I uh, look forward to your comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do subscribe so that I can get up to the magic 400 subscribers mark sometime pretty soon. Thanks, guys.